considers or cho chooses J to be the best, and so does Topsis and probably, but we have now got a preference table just in case we have a reason, we have a different reason altogether, such as availability, such as many things, many reasons. We as mining engineers would, would, would count many reasons for, uh, for which people would not be able to, uh, to accept or choose J. Then we would go to G or C. So we conclude using these three methods that the application of steel arches with one meter spacing together with rock bolts is the best method. And there are other alternatives after this one, which are preferred after J. Application of steel art with 0.5 meter spacing. I'm glad to see that uh, the result is something that we as mining engineers would not be surprised. Combination of steel arches one meter spacing, together with rock bolt would be the best. Just as conclusion, to say that multi-criteria decision-making techniques could be useful tools in selection of the optimum support system. I emphasize on the optimum and not the suitable. Many systems could be suitable. All those four are suitable, but the optimum was the combination of the steel arches and the rock bolts. <coughs> AHP and Topsys techniques have, been, uh, have given identical results, namely application of steel arches with one meter spacing and rock bolts, and promising in a slightly, very slightly different, these methods that we applied in all similar situations. Thank you very much. Question for Professor Moraine. Uh, I was just interested to know how you calculate that safety factor for the uh, support system. And, you know, what are you? you know, what What are the parameters for calculating the safety factor? It was shown that it was in the, in the model uh, by uh, the new worker model, the, the flag three. Like the that you explained yourself the other day at the workshop. No, well, I mean, exactly the same way. But what capacity and demand were you using? Was it just for the support, like stress in the support, or what was it? The load and the strength of the, the, the system. Uh, of the actual supports. That's right, the, the, the actual oh, support oh. system. Yes, yes. Uh, Professor I'm wondering of the three selection methods that you used, were, did it seem that one of them seemed to be more appropriate for support selection? No. Uh, really all multi-criteria methods can be valid, and there is no way of testing each of them uh, individually. The only test that we have is the inconsistency the factor, which was proved to be good, and also the comparison between the three systems, which the, the fact that they all gave almost the same result was encouraging. Okay, any other questions? Okay, I'd like to thank our speakers.